Uh, Hamas reportedly agreed to a tentative deal to free dozens of hostages, many as 70, pending Israel's approval, according to the Washington Post. As we learned, the deal may have been rejected. They also want Palestinian prisoners out. This comes as the total number of attacks against U.S. forces in the Middle East climbs to 57, and a U.S. destroyer shoots down a drone from Yemen. The Houthi rebels seem to be armed. I wonder why Iran did that. Here to react, former Green Beret and leader of Task Force Pineapple, retired Lieutenant Colonel Scott Mann. Colonel, great to see you. First off, Hi, your thoughts as a warfighter when you hear you might have to have a five-day pause for a possible release of 70 hostages. What are you thinking? Well, I mean, obviously, being mindful of the fact that negotiations are underway right now, I mean, you, you can't take your eye off of Hamas for any period of time just based on the nature of how they operate and, and the fact that they're, you know, putting men, weapons, and equipment inside hospitals. So it's going to have to be an unblinking eye on them no matter what's going on. When you're trying to take down a terrorist force, how difficult is it also to take videotape and sell your side of the story to a to the world. Well, I mean, it, it, it's going to become more and more clear that this is a narrative war, right? This is a war about narrative, and I don't think we've ever seen a war quite like this, where in real time, uh, Israel is having to give footage to the rest of the world to demonstrate that they are applying surgical precision in what they do. That's going to continue for them. That's not going to stop because if they don't, right. the propaganda machine of Hamas will overtake them. I know you've seen a lot of horrible things in this world, especially extracting what was left of our allies in Afghanistan. But can you imagine the mindset of a terrorist who would kill parents in cold blood in front of the three-year-old and take a three-year-old hostage? I think one of the things I'm most concerned about right now is that migration of ISIS-style tactics uh, that we saw on, you know, October 7th. And I, I think as Americans and as Westerners, we need to be very mindful of that. There is a very real possibility that that migration of tactics locally could find its way here. I am a little concerned about our guys, 45,000 in the region, uh, 2,500 in Iraq, 900 in Syria being targeted 54 times in three and a half weeks. We've hit back four times. How hard is it to sit there and hope the missile defense saves your life and the concussion doesn't wreck your brain? Yeah, and, and you're gonna, you know, the, the, the TBIs of our forces are really going up. And when you have this kind of footprint, like when you have this escalation and increased footprint, and you're facing asymmetric threats like these precision drones, our guys and girls are really at risk. So we're going to have to have rules of engagement that reflect their force protection. Otherwise, um, we're going to see these kinds of asymmetric t attacks continue to escalate. Why was it important for you to come to the Patriot Awards? Well, because this is a community-based approach. One of the things that I saw with Pineapple Express and the other volunteer efforts is what our country is capable of to this very day at the community and individual level. That's where leadership comes from. It doesn't come from top-down government. Right. It comes from communities, and, and, and Fox really brings that out, and it's just fun to come watch it. Scott, great to see you. Thanks for all you do. A round of applause for Lieutenant Colonel Scott Mann. Thank you. By the way, uh, the president and uh, Booker T is now out. Uh, look at what uh, Janet Wessling just got me. That's uh, the cover of the book, and now I can have something to drink coffee out of. So did you, Carly. Uh, I hope to see everybody in person at 5.30 tomorrow at the Grand Old Opry. Uh, I'll be signing here, actually tonight. Also, uh, take a look at the other full screen. I'm also going to be in the area in Brentwood, Tennessee, uh, as well as uh, Chattanooga, uh, Tennessee, Madison, Alabama, and Montgomery, uh, Teddy and Booker T. Hope to see everyone in person and also Fox Nation sponsoring all of it.